I don't know how many of you that watch this marathon actually know anything about film studios, but there was one called Relativity Media. It was a film studio that filed for bankruptcy back in 2015 and it had some films that they couldn't quite release. Kidnap was one of those films. It kept having its release date pushed back and back because of Relativity Media's incoming bankruptcy. But now, a new studio bought the rights to it and released it. So, despite being finished in 2014, we just now get this movie. And how does it hold up? Let me tell you, it's just kind of insane. Like, I'm really sad we didn't get this movie earlier because this movie's just so hilarious. And no, it was not the intention of the movie, which is what makes it even more fun. At its best, it's Mad Max Mommy Road. Like, how crazy this movie can get is incredible. It's what makes this movie as charming as it is. And no, the script is not good in the slightest. The script is awful, but it's not, like, insultingly bad. Most of it is just Halle Berry screaming, oh god, over and over again, and then just saying some of the most broken and laughable dialogue I've ever heard of a movie all summer. While the premise is entertaining, the story itself is really dumb. Like, every scene is predictable, and once it starts, the only time it circumvents your expectations is when it becomes even dumber than you thought it originally was going to be. It's these moments where the movie usually tries to slow down, and that's when the movie really starts to lose me. Because if this movie isn't being aggressively stupid, it's not entertaining. When the movie tries to be dramatic or thrilling, every event leads me to laughing. And I will admit, Halle Berry does her best with a script that gives her almost literally nothing. She acts the hell out of this part, which which is what adds to how insane this movie actually is. I couldn't say I was ever really bored while watching this movie because it at least knew how to cap my interest, even if it was just by throwing logic out of the window and just let me revel on how stupid the whole concept was. Sadly, I will say it's the third act that lost me because it decided to slow down and attempted to be more of a suspenseful scene and let me tell you, it really did not work in the slightest. I give this movie a very cautious recommendation. Like, don't watch it in theaters, you will waste your money, but if you find it on HBO in a few months, it's worth a watch just to experience how insane saying this is. This gets a 3 out of 10. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see more reviews, then click the playlist to see my other stupid opinions. Alright, see you next video.